something caught my eye the other day. Pat Robertson, the high priest of the religious right, had some startling things to say about drugs. I really believe we should treat marijuana the way we treat beverage alcohol, Mr. Robertson said recently. I've never used marijuana and I don't intend to, he said, but it's just one of those things that, well, I think this war on drugs just hasn't succeeded. The reason Robertson is for legalizing marijuana is that it has created a prison problem in America that is well beyond what most Americans imagine. He's right. Here are the numbers. The total number of Americans under correctional supervision, prison, parole, etc., is 7.1 million, more than the entire state of Massachusetts. No other country comes even close to our rates of incarceration. We have 760 prisoners per 100,000 people. Most European countries have one-seventh that number per capita, so it's adjusted for population. Even those on the high end of the global spectrum, Brazil, Poland, have only a quarter the number we do. Now, if you say this is some kind of enduring aspect of America's Wild West culture, you would be wrong. In 1980, our rates of incarceration were a quarter what they are now. What changed was the war on drugs and the mindless proliferation of laws that have created criminal penalties for anything and everything. If you don't believe me, listen to Pat Robertson again. We here in America make up 5% of the world's population, but we make up 25% of jailed prisoners. We have now over 3,000 the number must be much higher than that, but over 3,000 uh, federal crimes. And every time the liberals pass a bill, I don't care what it involves, they stick criminal sanctions on it. And so we have the jails filled with people who are white-collar criminals. In the past two decades, the money that states spend on prisons has risen at six times the rate of spending on higher education. In 2011, California spent $9.6 billion on prisons, versus 5.7 billion on higher education. Since 1980, California has built one college campus. It has built 21 prisons. The state spends $8,667 per student per year. It spends about $50,000 per inmate per year. Why is this happening? Well, prisons are a big business now. They are privately run. They have powerful lobbyists and they have bought most state politicians in America. Meanwhile, we are bankrupting our states and creating a vast underclass of prisoners who will never be equipped for productive lives.